Shalom family. I want to briefly touch on the word sin in Hebrew. It gives us a bit of a better understanding about sin when we look at how it's written. And the Hebrew word here is chata, sin. Now chata is the Hebrew word most translated as sin in the Bible. And it means literally missing the mark as an archer might miss his target when shooting an arrow. Chata means missing the goal, missing the mark, and it means wrongdoing, err, or fault. Okay, now let's break it down here and look at this. And if you look at it, the chet, the tet, and the aleph. The chet is to be separate. The tet is to be surrounded or twisted. And the Aleph, we've already covered, speaks of God. But in Chata, the Aleph is silent. It has been separated, removed. It is a separation from God and the laws and the righteousness of God. When that separation takes place and you don't hear or see God or listen to God, this is where the word sin comes from. Chata. Interesting, right? A separation from God leaves you in sin. Bringing us to God through the cross of Jesus Christ and his cleansing blood helps us and cleanses us from sin. God bless. Don't be separated from God. Cling to him. For he is life. Shalom.